Hey everyone, how's it going? We are out in the beautiful Arctic and it feels so good to be out here. Isn't it just breathtaking? This landscape, the scenery is absolutely gorgeous. There's a very strong chill in the air. Uh, it's not even end of summer yet and it already looks like autumn and it is fairly cold, but it is just wonderful to be out here. This is an area, part of the world I've always wanted to explore and just see and photograph and it feels so good to be out here. One of my very first memories as a kid was just feeling this desire to visit the Arctic, you know, just feeling drawn to this area of the world and uh, wanting to photograph the animals up here. So it feels amazing to finally be able to actually be doing that. I'm so excited to be able to share this adventure with you over the next three and a half days. I will be up here looking for whatever wildlife I can find. I'm specifically looking for muskox, but there are so many animals up here. There's grizzlies, there's caribou, wolves, wolverines, lynx. There are so many animals up here. I don't want to get my expectations set too high, but uh, I think we'll have some fun encounters over the next few days and I'm excited to be able to share that with you. I just got everything set up now. Uh, it's taken me over 24 hours just to get out here. Uh, a lot of planes and all sorts of stuff. And I've got everything set up now, but I haven't eaten in over 24 hours. I haven't had much to drink. I haven't slept, so uh, I need to take care of all of the above. First, I'm gonna get some water filter just to keep me hydrated for the rest of the day. I'm too excited to eat right now, and so I'll just grab a quick, uh, granola bar or something and head out so we can start looking for some muskox because it just feels great to be out here and then tonight we'll come back to camp and uh, get a hot meal before bed and then we'll set off again early tomorrow morning to see what we can find. It's a huge area to comb through. There's, there's just a lot of ground to cover so without rambling on any further let's get some water and let's get going. Hey everyone, thought it was time for an update before it gets too dark. It's getting dark really quickly on me. I've been out for the last seven hours looking for muskox and I, I struck out tonight, uh, this afternoon and tonight, but you know, I'm on the right path. I was out there on the, just this beautiful tundra. It is so pretty out here. This landscape is just gorgeous and I was able to find some muskox scat and some prints as well, which I'm really happy about because it tells me I'm on the right trail to find these guys. So I've got my fingers crossed. I'm really hopeful for tomorrow. It was really difficult searching for them today though. Uh, this fog rolled in. If you can't see it behind me, I've got this really thick fog that rolled in. Uh, it's actually letting up quite a bit now, but uh, earlier it was just so thick I could barely see. I'd be out there in this thick fog, I'd be able to see 100 yards or so, and I wasn't able to see beyond that, so I'd go over the next little rise in the ground, next little hill, whatever, or just out a little bit further, and I'd be able to see a little bit more, but not a whole lot. So with this landscape just being so wide and big and expansive I mean it's it's so hard to find wildlife out here in these conditions and so I, I did strike out tonight but again like I said I'm, I'm really hopeful for tomorrow I was able to find the scat and the prints in the um, some like muddy dirt areas and uh, I'm really really hopeful to find muskox I just can't get over this landscape though it is so pretty out here just absolutely beautiful. 
I'm just going to enjoy this evening though as I get my dinner and uh, hit the hay and we'll, we'll start bright and early again tomorrow morning. My goodness, I just saw and photographed my first muskox ever, and it feels so good. This is, I don't know, like I feel like I'm gonna cry from joy. I cannot express this feeling that I have right now. That was so amazing. I was headed across the landscape, you know, just looking for muskox, and I looked up, and on this ridge line, I saw one way far out. It's really foggy up here. It's quite foggy still. And so he was he was going pretty quickly this way. So I circled around in front really quickly. I got behind a hill and just booked it. And uh, came out on the other side of this hill just up here. And uh, hunkered down and I had a feeling he was gonna pop out soon because he was cruising. And so I laid down here real quick. I've got a rock up here, kind of hid behind that. Got my lens and camera ready and just waited to where I thought he was going to pop out. And I was starting to sink against myself because I wasn't seeing him. And then all of a sudden I see him emerge and what a cool looking animal. They are so pretty. They just have like this prehistoric look to them. Just amazing. <laughs> and he came and this it was better than I ever could have asked for or wished for. I got some pictures and he's still pretty far out. And I was just thinking, oh, this is, this is fantastic. If this is all that I get out here, I am thrilled. And it wasn't even that great, but just to see one and photograph one is a dream, a literal dream come true for me. But then he started coming closer. He got curious and he started coming closer. And I got some more pictures and then he came closer and I got some more pictures and pretty soon I almost couldn't even fit him in my frame anymore because he had gotten so close and he was just watching me and I was just keeping really still not moving and then just kind of out of nowhere like he had his fill and he just kept going and he just disappeared into the fog that was starting to roll down uh, it's clearing up actually already so I might go see if I can find him again but just absolutely incredible like I said, a literal, just a dream come true for me. I just, I don't know, I can't express my emotions that I have right now. I'm just so grateful for this. How, how amazing, what an incredible opportunity that I've had out here. I'm just gonna take a minute to process these feelings and emotions. I'm a sentimental guy, so you non-sentimental people just get over it and uh, enjoy some nice B-roll or something right here. But uh, I'm gonna take a minute to enjoy this moment and just process what I'm feeling right now. And then, and then we'll go see what else we can find out here. I am absolutely loving this though. 
what a wonderful start to this this day. I photographed my first muskox. <laughs> Incredible. Hey everyone, just had to take a break. Look at this scenery. <laughs> oh my goodness, I cannot get over how beautiful it is out here. Just stunning, the colors, let me show you again, it's so pretty. The reds and the whites and the tundra and then you get the yellows in the trees down by the, the river down there and then the colors in the river is just so pretty. So I was hiking along, uh, I was photographing a muskox, found another one. Um, he was laying down, just had a mosquito fly in my ear. Uh, he was laying down and I thought he was sleeping. So I snuck up on him, I got pretty close. And he didn't know I was there and then he stood up and he was really just taking care of his front leg, he's got an injured leg, and he still didn't know I was there, so I watched him for a bit. There were no real good, like, photo opportunities from the angle I was at. He settled back down and uh, laid his head down, and he's resting right now. And so, um, I was just sitting to see if I could reposition myself for when he would get back up to get some pictures, and then I looked behind me on this hillside back here. You can't see them now, but there were 22 muskox that I counted, and I don't know where they came from, because I was keeping an eye on everything back here, and they just showed up out of nowhere, and they've gone over the other side now, so I snuck out uh, away from this guy up here that was sleeping. I figured I should probably let him be anyways. He's got that injured leg. I don't want to have him see me there and get nervous, and hobble away and injure his leg even more. So I snuck out of there really quietly and left him be. And I'm gonna cross this river down here, hike up this hill and over the other side and see if I can get the muskox over there. Hopefully um, I can get in a good position where they can't see or smell me, where they can kind of come up on me and uh, I'll already be in position to be able to get some shots. There's been some others that I've tried to approach here and there and they see me and they don't like that. But just like that first one, my favorite one so far that I photographed, that uh, first one where I was in position and he came right at me and saw me the whole time and I was just able to kind of hold still and move very slowly, get my pictures. Those are my favorite images so far and that's what I'm going to try to do with these guys because they seem to like that a lot better where you're not actually moving around and and uh, doing all that so let's hike down this hill cross the river and hike up this other one it's just beautiful out here though I, I had to stop and fill you guys in right here because I love this color it's so pretty I wish I was good at landscape photography because I took some pictures of this here. Pretty pathetic attempt at capturing the beauty, honestly. So uh, maybe I need to brush up on my landscape photography skills that I don't have. But anyways, let's get going. Let's go uh, across this river and find some muskox. Loving it out here. Absolutely loving it. This incredible adventure was just getting started, and already I was thrilled with the encounters that I had had and the pictures that I had gotten. But if I had known what lay ahead, I doubt I would have been able to sit still out of anticipation of the wildlife encounters to come and the images that I was going to get. <laughs> 